In today's Pro Bike Check, we're going to take a look at Thomas Jenon's Canyon Stitch 720 Slope Star Bike. So the Canyon frame is a Stitch 720, all alloy, and it's one of very few actual factory made Slope Star bikes. There's 100mm travel front and rear, but Thomas doesn't set his suspension up like most mountain bikers. Slope Star bikes have to be really hard to take those massive hits. So going up to the handlebars, we've got some Spanx bike, Darren Bearclaw, signature bars, cut down to 650mm wide. Thomas said that he likes them a little bit shorter on this bike compared to the hardtail, just because the top tube is that little bit shorter. Obviously spinning bars a lot as well, so it's quite nice to have quite thin bars on this bike. 35mm uh, stem and sensors grips. One thing you'll notice here that's really cool is this trick stuff gyro. It's hydraulic gyro because Thomas is running these Shimano Saint hydraulic disc brakes. I'll let him spin the bars and do tail whips just as much as he wants. So you can see the Fox 36 fork up front. It's been slammed right down to 100 mil travel. Uh, it's a really strong fork with that big bolt through. So that's why the slope style riders really like using them. It's a pretty cool Tommy G sticker on the crown as well. The wheels are made by DT Swiss, the 240S hubs with the EX471 rims. They're 26 inch, again, slope style and dirt jump riders still ride 26 inch wheels. Great for spinning around and these Maxxis Icon tyres are pumped up rock hard. So coming down to the drivetrain, we've got Shimano Saint Cranks, 170mm long, and these NC17 flat pedals, they're a German brand. The one really cool feature about this Canyon Stitch bike is that the pivot actually goes around the bottom bracket, and that means you can run a single speed and the chain length doesn't change at all through that travel stroke. You've got these horizontal dropouts to set up that chain tension to begin with, and that's pretty tight on this bike. Most slope style riders set that up tight so the, the cranks don't spin around when they take the feet off for tricks. So Thomas has gone one step further as well and he's actually put a rubber bit of something on the left hand crank. I think that's come from a plumbing supply store and that just means that the pedals are always going to be in the same place as where he left them when he's doing tail whips. So the gearing is 34 chainring up front with a 14 sprocket on the rear. And the rear disc brake is 160mm. Shimano Saint caliper, the downhill caliper, and Thomas just runs one brake on the rear. Some really nice little custom touches to this bike. We've got a Tommy G sticker on the top tube, La Frite on the back of the seat tube, and you can see the Genon uh, scribed into the rear shock. The bike's finished off with this Cro-Mag Overture saddle and Cro-Mag seat post. So Thomas, we're at Joyride in Whistler, a really big course. Um, do you know that you're going to ride the full suspension bike before you get here or do you bring the hardtail and the full suspension bike? Uh, no, so at this time of the year it's more about uh, slope style bike, we're getting ready for big events. and uh, So I'm training on this bike since uh, a few months now. So it takes you I guess a little while to sort of transfer to bikes, you want to get used to it early? Yes, so the bike is really similar to the air trail but uh, with the shock and uh, you know when you do trick if it's uh, like if your shock is uh, is moving different, then you need practice for that. Yeah, so you have everything set really, really hard, I guess. So just for those big landings, is it with the tires are rock hard and the suspension's really hard? Yes, yeah, so it's for big impact, but also like on the slope side bike, everything is running a little bit safer and smoother. So like you're not afraid afraid to case a jump or like when you ride, it's just like a lot smoother like through the course. So what about this uh, sticker on the back of your seat tube? It says Lafrit. Tell me about that. Yeah, so uh, at the moment I have a tool surname. It's uh, one by the Frenchies, so Lafrit and uh, the Tommy G from uh, more Americans. Okay, cool. Good nicknames. So cheers, Thomas, for letting us take a look at your bike. If you want to see more videos on GMBN, you can click down there for the full Pro Bike playlist and click just over there for what is slope style. And click here to subscribe. Give us a thumb up if you like Thomas's bike. <laughs>